guys, good morning, another day, another vlog. Today is Friday. Today is actually six weeks postpartum. I am so happy to be back to normal. I went to my OB already on Tuesday and she said everything is healing really, really well and I can go back to normal. So immediately I went to a boxing class. It was so fun. I missed hardcore workout. So the baby is sleeping right now, which is awesome. I still can't talk without my normal, my morning coffee. And I need to do all of these dishes. We gotta do it. We gotta do it before the baby wakes up and we need to feed the cats. It's been a disaster. When a cat wants to eat at the same time the baby wants to eat and everyone is like, wah, wah, drove me crazy. But before the baby wakes up, we gotta take care of myself, take care of my cat. And we're gonna get the vital protein in my coffee. It's been a little chaotic. I think I'm making a mess. I think I'm making a mess. I should have taken a sip of my milk. Also, I had like seven and a half hours of sleep last night. So I thought like I wouldn't be as like tired. I, with a baby, you don't get enough deep sleep or RAM sleep. So it's normal to feel like not as rested even though you slept a lot. But I think last night was like good enough. We're putting the breastfed milk, breastfed, breastfed milk. We're gonna put the breast milk, I don't know, grass-fed milk, breastfed milk into the freezer. Actually pump about to 60 ounces a day. So literally I have enough milk to feed two kids. Well, if you have twins, that's how much milk you would need, right? But I don't have twins. So I'm saving the milk that the baby doesn't drink. So in the future, if my milk supply is not good or if I'm out of town. Ta-da! This is only part of the milk. I also have milk in the outside freezer. But this is how much milk I have. There's like a little bag right there. The breast milk has taken over my freezer for sure. Definitely gonna wash the dishes before the baby wakes up. When the baby wakes up, it's like impossible to do anything because you need to hold the baby. I got the Mrs. Mayors. I got this. This is the Trader Joe's a watermelon overnight face mask. Less than $10, so I got it. I was like, I'm gonna do take care of my skin. Guess what? I think I got it last week on Sunday and I completely forgot to use it for the whole week. Distilled water. You know what? On the second thought, I felt like I need to feed the cats first. I'm gonna give them wet food today. So like when I do the dishes, the babies, the kids, the cats, they can actually eat their food. Like I have two cats, Simba and Nala. I would say Simba is super, super sweet and he is super interested in the baby. And I feel like he's always watching the baby. And I think Simba's very protective of the baby. Nala is just so indifferent. Like she couldn't care less. Come on, babies. All right, guys, we're here. Baby is here. Hello, say hello, look. Hello everyone, good morning. When I edit the videos, I kinda hate my baby voice because it sounds like so cringe. But according to research, baby, they really like those high-pitched noises. Noises, high-pitched voices. That's how it works, that's how you entertain a baby. So let's see if the baby wants to eat. This is my breast milk. I kind of palm and give the bottles. I don't like to directly breastfeed, even though I think directly breastfeed is a little bit better. It's like when the baby cries, my milk just flows in really, really quickly and the baby doesn't have to try hard. Always drinking too fast. I definitely introduce bottle way earlier than it's recommended. I would rather him eat um, regardless who's feeding him. He can be separated from me, but still getting the breast milk. This is our snuggle me lounger. Underneath is the padding for a tummy time and the tummy time toy. This is the black and white card. But he usually just pay attention for like five minutes and he just lost interest. My And this is my laptop where 
I do most of the editing. So after four weeks, I back to I'm back to teach yoga, but teaching yoga is kind of like a part time job. Um, so the next part time job is the college lecture, which will start in this fall. Because I was teaching in spring semester, and I finished my teaching May 11th, 12th, and I give birth at May 18th. I'm gonna go back to teach a graduate level class. It's hybrid it's half in person half online so all the graduate level classes are in the evenings from six to nine but it's just part-time i'm gonna eat some food i have some leftovers i have like three more slices the dark things are like guacamole they kind of like oxidize let's edit some video it's been two hours since I milked myself, so I'm gonna pump again. This is the Spectra pump. And then I have to remember how long I haven't pumped. Because sometimes like if I don't pump when I get a chance, when he wakes up, I need to hold him or play with him. Then I don't get to pump. So the struggle. Is All right, guys, since the baby's still sleeping, I think I'm gonna do some yoga at home. And also it can help me to prepare for the sequence that I teach later today. Hopefully the baby sleeps for another I want to say 40 minutes. That's good enough for me to finish the whole sequence. Of course, I wish the baby sleeps for like an hour, but the chance of that happening is a little bit low. I have kind of like sore neck. Yoga should help. You look at me like I'm crazy when I shut my feelings out. You look at me like I'm different. Still you stay cause you feel something real Get so lost in my moments Doesn't mean I don't need you I, I, I fell in love with your colors They kinda tell me what I'm thinking I fell in love with the way we are And the way we lose it There's something different about us minutes of workout Whew. I felt great I felt really really good I didn't do cool down because I heard baby making noises but I don't think the baby woke up I gave him a bath yesterday he's been sleeping really really good so here is mom hack if your baby is being fuzzy and not sleeping give him a warm bath they usually sleep really really well that night so I'm gonna do some gentle cool down to stretch I'm slowly coming back to what I used to do before I was pregnant but there are certain poses I'm still not a hundred percent like I used to do headstands very solid like I used to be able to twist a little bit more since I just gave birth six weeks before I think I am recovering really really well yoga has made a huge difference in my life I felt way stronger happier and very positive ever since I did yoga and I manifest good things in my life because I'm, not, I'm more positive, I just remember when I was pregnant, I just felt like everything is gonna go well and everything did go well. So, because I taught yoga until two days before I gave birth. So I gave birth on Thursday and I my last yoga class was like Tuesday night. And I feel like it's very, very easy for me to come back to workout since I never really took a break. I'm still 20 pounds heavier than before I was pregnant, but now I feel like the high intensity training is harder for me, but I still have a lot of core strength. I still have a lot of like body strength. La Yesterday during this time, the baby already woke up. Okay, I think 
we can confidently say that baby has woken up. Oh, we woke him up. We're gonna eat, change diaper, and do some time. Smile, baby. Smile, baby. Hey, hey, hey. Today, I think the time, tummy time is a little bit hard. I don't know why. Yesterday, he did pretty good, but he gets frustrated after like 10, 20 minutes. He usually falls asleep. But today, I felt like he's not like feeling it. He doesn't want to make the effort. Every time he makes the effort, he's like, <laughs> he whine about it it's not like crying but he was whiny so i'm gonna take like a five minute shower when he's in the crib and then we're gonna do the tummy time again he's in the crib he's not very happy being alone in the crib because he wants to like be held but this is the safest like when he's like there's nothing around him and stuff like that so i'm sweaty i don't want you to get into i don't want you to drink this sweat it's also shedding a lot of skin high five high five Okay. <laughs> Every time he spit up his smile, <laughs> I think it's because the taste of milk. Is go, 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 go. Lifting his head up super high before I turn the camera. <laughs> you got this. You try hard, baby. He's pulling my he's pulling my strap out. Oh, if you notice, he's got my hair color. That's what I meant to say. Our hair colors are not black. He's got that chestnut brown hair. I've got my chestnut brown hair. I think he's got the same hair color. Okay, you're so sad. You're so sad. You're so sad. It's not brunette. It's like really like dark chestnut with the sun. You can see it. But wait, look at the baby's hair. It's the same color. We got the same colors over here. <laughs> but his hair is way more oily than I am. Thank you, baby. Eventually he fell asleep, but this position is not safe. So I just have to sit here and watch him all the time. So I'm gonna be editing some videos. We'll watch him right here. Hey guys, now I just put the baby in the bouncer. I just fed the baby again and I got these black and white cards to provide some visual stimulation. I'm gonna say the word as I show it to him. Don't look, duck. He likes the toys. Look right here. There we go. He's like, I don't want to look at it. <laughs> A circle. Butterfly. <laughs> Butterfly. Thunderstorm. A bear. A bear. A star. This way. Rabbit. Rabbit. Apple. I'm gonna steam some dumplings. I felt like I didn't eat enough lunch, but I'm not hungry. So I need to eat something because I'm not gonna eat dinner until like 9 o'clock. So I can't just eat lunch at 12 and then eat dinner at 9 o'clock. I feel, I feel like I'm gonna be hungry. You can get it from Amazon. I'll link it below. This is like all-in-one pan. It's cheaper than like the always pan. This juicy dumpling with pork and vegetables from the brand Humble One. We got it from H Mart Austin. Um, I think most of the H Mart has it. Some Asian stores don't have it. You gotta kind of go to. You kind of need to go to like a Korean market because this is a Korean brand. Um, but it tastes really, really. All right, guys. We're gonna take a bite of the dumplings. Oh, the baby woke up. Oh no. Oh, the soup just squirted out. Mmm. Do you guys see this? Like, so much soup just squirted out. Market, Korean market, get this one. It really has soup. So much juice in there. 
and it's like pork and cabbage, I believe. It's one of my favorite. Very similar to the Shanghai soup dumplings. All right, guys, we just got changed to my yoga class again. I'm gonna go teach two yoga classes today. I'm gonna drop off the baby at my mother-in-law's house. I thought my husband was gonna come home like before I do this, but he didn't come home. I don't know where he was. I called him and he didn't pick up. It's so annoying. Like I just need him to pick up the phone. It's so annoying. But let's go. Let's drop off the baby. Next day. Hey guys, it's Saturday. We're outside. My husband is with the kid and. I'm gonna go eat kava with my friends and go shopping a little bit. I think I'm gonna film a shop with me video at a Dollar Tree. I haven't been to Dollar Tree for a long time. We just finished our car kava. We're gonna do some shopping and walk around the stores just to have fun, just to look around. We're gonna go to the Dollar Tree first and do a, like a shop with me to see what's new in Dollar Tree. I haven't been there for like almost a year. There's a bird nest here. How many birds are there? One, two, three, four, five. Look, oh my gosh, that's so cute. It, that's like super small. Well, I hope they don't fall. Well, they're not gonna fall. No, Look at their little mouth. That's so cute. Their mama bird is gonna get their like worms and stuff to feed them. That's so cute. I think that's their mom. I can hear the little bird making sound. Look, they all woke up because their moms are here. Oh, they're gonna fly. Oh, that's so cute. Also, I think they're getting very close to like flying, I think. Well, the mom bird will kick them out of the nest to teach them how to fly. Should I get this one? It's just folded. This is cute. All right guys, I actually bought more stuff that Dollar Tree, more than I thought. I got some cat toys and got a dog toy and a cat treat. It's actually pretty cheap for Dollar Tree. They have like some more neat stuff, especially the $5 ones. They're actually not bad quality at all. Now we're gonna take a look at TJ Maxx and Home Goods. Guy is so blue today. Like it looks awesome in my phone camera. I just want to say this bag looks like my diaper bag, only a little bit bigger. It looks just like my diaper bag, but just a little bit bigger. Hey, Mirad has their bestseller kit here, thirty dollars. It's the Retno. It has the oh, it has all of their bestsellers. Like the cleanser has really good reputation. The retinol has a good reputation. The vitamin C serum, dark spot serum, and there's a water gel cream. This is actually truly their bestseller kit. Like if you want to try the brand, definitely get this kit. $30 is actually a really good price. I just like these bottles. These bottles look so pretty. Look, I just like the bottles. I can't even use it. I can't even use retinol. Chinese brand. Moist balancing deep cleansing foam. <laughs> this is a good price. You can get it from Sephora. Five mask for only $13. It's actually a really good price. It's expensive in Sephora. This is a really good like Dr. Jart. This is a really good facial mask. We actually have some really good items at TJ Maxx. This set actually looks really, really, I like the design. It's very different. Yeah, and it feels like really nice texture when you, I love this fake plants. This one looks really good. This one looks really real, don't you think? Yeah, it's not real, it's, it looks really real. It's like $99.99, $100. I love this. I wish I could buy this for our bedroom. This fake plant is $70, $70 for watering my plants. It looks like super loyal. The way he's sitting looks royal. Loyal and a royal. Hey guys, we're here at Target. Let's see what they have at Target. We're just gonna get like a little grocery here. I really like this shade of green. Green, it's like really good summer. A lot of shopping today. And we got poke bowl for dinner. And I got my boba tea. I always get like a black tea milk cap with no sugar and with boba. I like it to be creamy, but not like sweet, if it makes sense. So I got some boba, boba, boba tea and poke bowl. 
can't talk these days. I think it's because I talk to the baby too much. I just talk like baby talk. I think I got double salmon because I don't want the tuna because it has like mercury. It's high mercury and then my husband actually got the From Dollar Tree, I got like a swimming goggles for fun. Got a cat toy. I also got a dog toy. This is so, not, yeah, this is like a donkey. It's so cute. Donkeys. And then got like some cat treats. Oh, no wonder the cats are interested in this bag. I got cat treats. And then this is like clippers for food. So let's see. It's dinner time. I'm still not super hungry yet because I ate a lot. I ate a lot of lunch and then I ate at two. So it's only been like three hours. But. And then I think we're gonna watch Mission Impossible, I think. Previously, there was like one of the movies or two of the movies we couldn't watch. We actually subscribed to Paramount Plus. So I think now we can actually watch it. One, two, three, go. Oops. <laughs> Hi, -ya. Hi -ya. Hi -ya. Hi -ya. Hi -ya. Hi -ya. Eat your food, come on, eat your food, eat your food, eat your food, eat your food. He just doesn't want it. Stand by and hold you at the football position. Try that. Try the football position. What are you doing? I'm trying to just hold him in the football. The football. Okay, how about I hold him? You do it. Uh, they don't want it. Brandon made this yesterday as breakfast, but I wanted to sleep in. So we're gonna heat it up and eat it today. Brenna was like, it doesn't look as good as yesterday or taste as good. Gotta shop at Trader Joe's. Happy Sunday! Um, I'm gonna take a cycling class right now and we're gonna take Brandon and the kid to Brandon's mom's house because they're doing 4th of July celebration early because on 4th of July Brandon actually wants to work so he's gonna work on that day so we're gonna do that dinner today. We're gonna be late. Let's go. Let's take my cycling class. It's my first cycling class back and it's 60 minutes. <laughs> Wish me luck. guys we're gonna go hit the pool I got this new baking suit from Target yesterday I got small I think it's a little bit small but I think median is too big what do you guys think but yeah I got hot pink so let's go